Before I paint, I take my my my, my colors after. I take my brushes, take my washers, and take my rug. I take my board up down and start painting. When I grow up, what I want to do is paint. Five year old Onarieta Remet is arguably the youngest artist in Nigeria. She showed an interest in painting when she was just 18 months old. Her parents have since encouraged her and even organized five exhibitions to show her work. Despite the attention she's getting in the world of art, Onarieta is just like most children her age. I have to be upstairs. Her younger sister, Onatani, doesn't want to be left behind either and often copies Onarieta's work. Everybody in the family paints. Everybody paints. A middle graf graphics, painting, and writing, and uh, music for legend. And um, Onarita is into painting, graphics, music, and modeling. And Tini just joined, she paints a lot, but she, we, we've noticed that she, is more, she tends more to, the, to, to athletics, you know, and uh, we give expression to that also. What we are doing right now is uh, we want to ensure as parents to these children that we protect two third of their paintings till they are at least 30. So it's a basic priority for us right now. Mm, Narieta, she's, um, she's very calm. She's very calm. She takes her time. She's very careful. She wants to learn processes. She wants to know um, how, did, how, did, how you do things step by step. If you give her the opportunity to learn five things at a time, as long as you're patient enough to teach her, she'll be ready to learn. According to her parents, Onarieta has done over 150 paintings. Some of these were recently shown at an exhibition her classmates also attended. She mostly likes to paint faces and animals, which sell for 10,000 US dollars and above. Most of Onarieta's clients are private collectors. It's a future. It's a future. Look what I remember when I was young, all I could do is just some drawings with some pencil, not paint, because it's quite, it's even more difficult to apply paint to shape out forms. For her to have been able to do that, that was a great work. I believe you should discover your children's talent on time and then help them as much as you can and let them be what the best that they can be. Because for every talent we have is God that has given it to us and you must develop the talent that God has given you and use it. While some people may think that Onarieta's parents push her harder than most children her age, art critic Dapo Adeni says that what they're doing could help develop her future career. When people actually recognize that residual ability, then they begin to invest in it. So in the case of uh, the artist in, que in question, I think it's quite amazing. It's a plus for us as a country that such energies are coming out. And I think we should be also watchful, you know, to begin to observe where children begin to display certain latent abilities and also to, to begin to nurture those things. So what we see in the case of this artist is just where somebody's latent ability is actually found out very early and investments are being made in that direction. Most African parents prefer to see their children make careers out of professions like medicine and engineering rather than art. Onarieta's parents say that they would like to see this change and want to promote use of art in bringing up children.
They also introduced her to modeling when she was just a year old and she has appeared in several catalogs. Today, designer and kitchen Kocha has dropped by for a fitting. Turn around. Turn. Yeah. Can you see the way turning around? Look at Yeah. Turn around again. The dream that this child is standing for, a true African, do you understand? I, we don't have to let that dream die. Because if it dies, the future of the children dies along with it. So this is a time for us to shine as a true African. And we have to take a note from this girl. Open your mouth. Though her schedule already seems so full of activities, Honorietta also attends nursery school. This morning, she and her classmates are having a lesson on safety while at school. Honorietta's art is also on display here and even gets comments from her classmates. It looks good and it looks nice. It looks wonderful. While it's important to nurture young talent, kids sometimes just need to be kids. Whether Onarieta chooses to become an artist when she grows up or not, the time she spends exploring her options should always be as fun as possible. Yeah!